Mary, the mother of Jesus, was at a wedding in which she had a role and a responsibility, and suddenly the wine ran out. This is a serious issue. It wasn't just a social embarrassment. And when the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. She tells him about the trouble. She talks about it with him. They have no more wine, she said. It's more than just a fact. It's a plea for help. Mary then goes to her helpers at the wedding and says, do whatever Jesus tells you to do. I kind of picture Mary walking out of the room and returning to the party and resuming her responsibilities. Are you ready for God to act or are you still scurrying, worrying, and trying? I can't tell you how many times I take a matter to Jesus only to walk away from that prayer and get back to work trying to solve it on my own. How about you? Well, consider God's people who were facing serious trouble when Pharaoh in his armed chariots had them backed into a corner. Moses says this to the people, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Can you imagine how difficult that would be to see Pharaoh and his army with all those chariots coming down upon you and hearing the answer, just stay still? And Jesus does always what is best in the story with Mary. In fact, listen to the response as he turned the water into wine. When the master of the ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine, but you have kept the best until now. So get ready for Jesus to act. It's going to be incredible. And in his perfect timing, Jesus can and will restore the best wine and unspeakable joy to you. Let's pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, there are many things that come against us that are challenges that can be frightening and that we begin to worry and scurry. And yet you remind us today that we need only to be still. For you have us in your tender care. Help us to trust that. Help us to continue to look to you in times of need. And even through difficult times, Help us to keep our focus on what is still ahead, the greatest gift that is still to come, that being the gift of eternal life, where we will be seated with you and all the saints, enjoying the best wine and the best joy that we have ever had in your presence. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.